The superconducting supercollider was a particle accelerator complex under construction in the vicinity of Waxiachi, Texas. Its planned ring circumference was 87.1 km with an energy of 20 TeV per proton and was said to be the world's largest and most energetic. It would have greatly surpassed the current record held by the Large Hadron Collider which has ring circumference 27 km and energy of 6.5 TeV per proton. The project's director was Roy Schwitters, a physicist at the University of Texas at Austin. Dr. Louis Ornillo served as its first project director for 15 months. The project was cancelled in 1993 due to budget problems. Proposal and Development the system was first formally discussed in the December 1976 National Reference Design Study, which examined the technical and economic feasibility of a machine with a design capacity of 20 TeV per proton. Fermilab director and subsequent Nobel Physics Prize winner Leon Lederman was a very prominent early supporter of Euro. Some sources say the architect or proposer of Euro of the superconducting supercollider project, which was endorsed around 1983 and a major proponent and advocate throughout its lifetime. An extensive U.S. Department of Energy review was done during the mid-1980s. Seventeen shafts were sunk and 23.5 kilometers of tunnel were bored by late 1993. Cancellation During the design and the first construction stage, a heated debate ensued about the high cost of the project. In 1987, Congress was told the project could be completed for $4.4 billion, and it gained the enthusiastic support of Speaker Jim Wright of nearby Fort Worth, Texas. A recurring argument was the contrast with NASA's contribution to the International Space Station, a similar dollar amount. Critics of the project argued that the U.S. could not afford both of them. Early in 1993 a group supported by funds from project contractors organized a public relations campaign to lobby Congress directly, but in June, the non-profit project on government oversight released a draft audit report by the Department of Energy's Inspector General heavily criticizing the Super Collider for its high costs and poor management by officials in charge of it. Congress officially canceled the project October 21, 1993 after $2 billion had been spent. Many factors contributed to the cancellation, rising cost estimates, poor management by physicists and Department of Energy officials. The end of the need to prove the supremacy of American science with the collapse of the Soviet Union. Belief that many smaller scientific experiments of equal merit could be funded for the same cost. Congress's desire to generally reduce spending. The reluctance of Texas Governor Ann Richards. And President Bill Clinton's initial lack of support for a project begun during the administrations of Richards's predecessor, Bill Clements, and Clinton's predecessors. Ronald Reagan and George H. W. Bush. However, in 1993, Clinton tried to prevent the cancellation by asking Congress to continue to support this important unchallenging effort through completion because abandoning the SSC at this point would signal that the United States is compromising its position of leadership in basic science. Following Rep. Jim Slattery's successful orchestration in the House, President Clinton signed the bill which finally cancelled the project on October 31, 1993, stating regret at the serious loss for science. Equals reactions to the cancellation equals, Steven Weinberg, a Nobel laureate in physics, places the cancellation of the SSC in the context of a bigger national and global socio-economic crisis, including a general crisis in funding for science research and for the provision of adequate education, healthcare transportation and communication infrastructure, and criminal justice and law enforcement. Leon Lederman, a promoter and advocate from its early days, wrote his 1993 popular science book The God Particle, If the Universe is the Answer, What is the Question? A Euro, which sought to promote awareness of the significance of the work which necessitated such a project a Euro in the context of the project's last years and loss of congressional support. The closing of the SSC had adverse consequences for the southern part of the Dallas Euro Fort Worth Metroplex, and resulted in a mild recession, most evident in those parts of Dallas which lay south of the Trinity River. When the project was cancelled, 22.5 kilometers of tunnel and 17 shafts to the surface were already dug, 
and nearly $2 billion had already been spent on the massive facility. Comparison to the Large Hadron Collider, the SSC's planned collision energy of 2x20 equals 40 TeV was roughly three times that of the 2x6.5 equals 13 TeV of its European counterpart, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Geneva. Although some claimed that the SSC cost was largely to the massive civil engineering project of digging a huge tunnel underground, that was somewhat of a distortion. The tunneling and conventional facility build-out budget was only about 10% of the total budgeted cost. The major cost item was the magnets, still in laboratory development phase, consequently with a higher level of uncertainty attached to the final cost. The LHC's advantage in terms of cost was the use of the pre-existing engineering infrastructure and 27 km long underground cavern of the large Electrona Europositron Collider, and its use of a different, innovative magnet designed to bend the higher energy particles into the available tunnel. The LHC eventually cost the equivalent of about US$5 billion US dollars to build. The total operating budget of the LHC runs to about US$1 billion per year. The Large Hadron Collider became operational in August of 2008. Current Status of Site After the project was cancelled, the main site was deeded to Ellis County, Texas, and the county tried numerous times to sell the property. The property was finally sold in August 2006 to an investment group led by the late J.B. Hunt. Collider Data Center has contracted with GVA Corley to market the site as a data center. Chemical company Magnablum bought the property and facilities in 2012, against some opposition from the local community. See also, Fermilab, DESY, UNK Proton Accelerator A similar competing Soviet project discontinued at about the same time in Russia. Einstein's Bridge and A Hole in Texas, both science fiction novels about the SSC, The God Particle by Leon Lederman and Dick T. Rissi. Notes References External links, photo tour of the SSC facility. Archived from the original on April 11, 2008. The High Watermark of American Science American Physical Society Physics Central Blog, March 24, 2011.